Welcome to a, another stream for focusing on maps and zoos from uh, Planet Zoo. This one here, we have a really, really cool map, uh, which is by, um, I am going to absolutely slaughter the name, but I will show you it on Steam so that you can uh, see it. Uh, the valley is uh, King Yao Valley, uh, which is a Chinese mythological world. And uh, it is created by uh, Yuan Liang. I am probably absolutely slaughtering your name. I apologize, but uh, you've done such phenomenal work. We're gonna like favorite. Um, I'll give an award afterwards. But uh, this map is so so cool. Um, you start off with this beautiful lookout that overlooks this valley that they have created. And then we go up, you can see they've got a Chinese junker ship in the, the harbor there. Uh, you can see from the entrance is where it leads into that area where you overlook. Um, and then they've got the pathways going either way uh, to lead. So we'll just follow one of these paths here. You can see uh, exactly where it's going. Uh, it's kind of on this mountainside, so there's lots to see here in the mountain. They've kind of got this uh, village set up where you can see there's restaurants, there's shops, uh, there's little homes, uh, and it goes all, carries all the way over. Um, if we flip around, hopefully it doesn't put us inside the mountain, which it's going to try. Um, and you can see you go to this other little eating area that again overlooks the valley. Uh, from a different angle and you can just see again more of what you are going to be exploring in this phenomenal build uh, Another great lookout point from up top there and then it carries on over and uh, You can see in a lower area. There's another little plaza that you can go into uh, with a beautiful entrance um, Which I'll lower my map there we go um, leads to another restaurant um, and the path keeps going way over there again there's so much to explore within this map um, so you can just see when you go down that path you're gonna keep going you're gonna hit this uh, really, really tall skinny pagoda building here and then there is a gazebo that's in kind of that uh, pagoda style um, some more archways um, and we'll get back to the other path in a second here, but there's just so much to explore. Um, this had to have taken them a really long time to build. There is this, uh, if I can get down to it, thatch workhouse um, building, sorry, trying to get, so we don't go inside the mountain here. Um, but you can see it overlooks this beautiful pond area here um, with all the trees um, another Asian style building down over here uh, with the beautiful vines going over it that leads into the mountain there um, and you can see there's another little statue all around the pond um, but be a beautiful little scene that they've created there um, if we go inside this building here um, oh yeah I thought that was one of the mountain passes but no it's not there is tunnels that go into um, mountains here um, so you can see this one here that path will lead up to this area here where you've got this um, Stargate style portal uh, and this amazing statue that they have built here um, that statue is so so cool um, that they have created um, and this is a portal there um, ah, oh, put me inside a building um, put me inside that uh, one of the pagodas. Um, this is a taller or a bigger, wider pagoda um, that actually has uh, terrariums inside of it. Um, and you can walk all the way up this path here, and each level is going to take you to more terrariums uh, until you reach the top, which there isn't anything on the top. And I actually, if I use that piece, uh, I will end up putting more stuff inside that, uh, including um, some of the detailing inside. And then they've got this cool tri-level building here as well, uh, hanging off the, the mountainside here. And they've got all these little lookouts and shops and restaurants. 
that all overlook the valleys from this mountain and this really cool bridge that they've uh, got here with a lookout point on the middle of the bridge um, which is also really cool and then inside the mountain here uh, this is what I was looking at you've got this other little restaurant style thing here and then you can go all the way sorry about that you can go all the way up the stairs it's gonna want me to go up a little bit more um, and then uh, this is going to take you around a corner and uh, you can keep following it all the way up inside the mountain I could go into a view mode I guess with the people but um, I don't really want to be following a person around anyway you can go all the way up that mountain pass um, it takes you within the mountain and you keep getting out to these different little building points um, we don't need to look inside I guess to, to see all the building points but this mountain just winds all the way up uh, till you get to that tall pagoda at the top there I'm just gonna zoom out um, till you get to that pagoda but there's just all the little lookout points all along the way on all sides of it that you can go to um, and uh, you just get to see the various shops there's this shop here as well which is perched on top of another little uh, hill that they are mountain piece that they've got there with a, another terrarium within it um, which is so awesome like just so cool the different areas everywhere you look they've got a new a new area that they've got uh, filled in with uh, different different pieces uh, this is another really cool terrarium piece here and another really um, different looking uh, pond than the other one uh, it's got another little kind of peaceful lookout point there over top of that pond they've got the uh, the Buddha statues um, and then you go down into the valley and there's another cool bridge some more lookout points um, and some more just peaceful places where you can go and rest um, very Zen like in there and what they are another cool bridge um, some cool little ponds that are all layered um, so you can you can see just the mountainside again they've created another mountainside with all different tiers uh, going up to it um, this is another mountain area here uh, you can see they've got this uh, other building here um, again another little shop area uh, and then they've got this this larger pond area with a winding path that goes all the way through it um, some more mountainside buildings um, I love that they've got all these buildings just built right into the mountain it really got my imagination going as to uh, things that I could possibly do with uh, some of my buildings whether or not when I do a mountain scene if it's going to be um, in that Asian theme or if I'm going to um, maybe make like a castle scene in the mountains or something like that uh, it really just got me thinking about the different things that I could possibly do um, with this so very inspirational map very very cool to just just see the different stuff that that they've got going on here uh, another little shop this is below that original lookout that we started at um, so we've come right back around um, and some cool put, um, gazebos there um, and then there's this larger mountain stream here uh, with a pond and uh, some more buildings here uh, that's a staff facility uh, bridges leading to this peaceful place in the center of the of this uh, large lake um, and uh, again you can go inside the mountain and you can see there's buildings within the mountain here as well um, so you can go again in the mountainside um, it leads all the way through to the other side and we'll just try and get up a bit anyway I'm gonna get out of here um, so it leads all the way through so you can get to all these different areas um, that we've already covered um, so much to explore within this map so many little things where you go underneath 
and in and just so so much work that they've clearly put into this map and uh, done such great great work with with this map um, I am I am so thrilled I think you could explore it for for hours and uh, um, play around with different animals that you can put inside it um, if we go to their steam page here um, you can even see just the different images that they've got different times of day what it looks like um, yeah just a lot that you can do with with this map and take a look at um, would love to know how many hours they've put into this map um, as I think it is so cool you can see it's got a ton of awards already uh, we'll give it an award um, um, I, I like this one but let's go deep thoughts uh, on this one um, give award and uh, yeah um, I like the deep thoughts one because that I really did have a lot of really deep thoughts with this map so uh, yeah thanks for tuning in to another video we'll feature someone else here uh, at some point but uh, yeah just so amazing this build I encourage you to check it out in the steam workshop uh, give them a shout out um, give them an award as uh, they deserve all the awards that they've gotten and uh, they deserve more awards so as far as planet zoo goes they have created just this amazing scene that you can take a look at and explore and enjoy putting animals in there and watching them kind of interact in the various different areas that this creator has uh, has built up so thanks for tuning in i hope you'll tune into the next one uh, which will probably be next week um, i am off on monday as i have a specialist appointment finally after four years of waiting for for a pain specialist i'm finally getting to see one hopefully they'll be able to solve some of the uh, pain issues that i've been having for uh, decades so uh yeah so i'm off on monday for that so probably won't see a video till uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, but uh, I was happy to get this one here out. And uh, yeah, hope you'll tune in.